What's going on, everybody? Steve here, Boss for Cards. Thanks for checking the channel out and returning to view some Dominaria United Collector boxes here today. We're going to do an opening. Um, we're going to start with this one because it's a little bit ripped. We're going to talk about the state of Dominaria United. Um, overall, I think I think things have really moved up. Uh, guys, I remember back in November, December time frame. I would buy these boxes 125, 120, even a piece. Now on the mayhem sale that we had with uh, TCG player, I ended up snagging these for like, I, don't know, I feel like 165 minus the 13% store credit. Well, there we go. We got a little Tobias. These box toppers in Dominaria United were horrendous. So, um, you know, the box toppers here, nothing to. Nothing to write home about, but we're really after Shouldred, as well as um, some Legends pulls. And, you know, we, we pulled a Caracas. Uh, you guys didn't get to see it, though, but I did. Um, amplifier? See, our Amplifier used to be, like, a great card. I guess maybe it still is. Pilgrim? So, like, Pilgrim, some of these things in the foil, in the etched and stuff like that, they aren't worth it. This one, for example, in the regular foil is kind of worth a little more. Uh, what do we got here? Our, our textured. These ones aren't worth very much. Drag to the bottom. Oh, a nice Leyline Binding. Leyline Binding is always a great pull. Queen, see Ramirez, Rasputin. These are all... Rivaz is a couple bucks. Um, these other ones are, are not worth much of anything. Rivaz. He's, he's a little bit silver. Nothing crazy going on there. And a Sapperling. So the... You know, draft boxes, obviously, if they're around $90 and Sheldred's worth around $90, then, you know, you hit one, you pull, you pay back the set. Um, I've, I've opened a couple and I didn't, I haven't hit many in draft boxes though, folks. Founding the Third Path, Codex, Captain's Call. I'm just going to throw some a little bit over there. We got the Raven Man in the etched. I'll throw him up there too. Hex Catcher, this thing was trending up for quite some time, and we'll have it up on the screen, but I think it's it's trended back down. Peacekeeper, okay. Okay, what do we got? Tur, there's Tobias again. Gleeful. Soul Canar. Okay. And Defiler of Faith. Come on, we're playing on my knight's roots. Play mat here, sorcery. Check, a, check out some sorcery stuff on the channel. If you haven't already, I do a lot of openings on sorcery in the gate. Queen, so like that one again, like I'm telling you guys. It's worth more there than it is in the textured. Braids, that's our textured, believe it or not. Oh, it's not stuff. Braids, Baird, sorry. Baird. Hourglass. Tor, Tobias, Orca, and the Raven Man, and the Raven Man. Raven Man, Raven Man. I'm going to put them here, but I think they're only a couple cents. A couple cents. So, again, well, these are these are 165, and we're not close to 165 in value, folks, at all. So, like, this is a little bit concerning. Crystal Grotto, little 30 center forest. Okay. Queen, that's our textured weather light completed. Mythic, but not worth, not worth very much at all. Wayfair. Okay, the ever-changing Joda. Well, Joda, I'd love to see a Sheldred in that spot. And then the Beast Caller. Obviously, we're, we are looking for a Legends card in the third or fourth slot. Fossil Growth, Stall for Time. When I opened it once, it like kind of stuck together. And uh, I missed it. I had to go back through my pile, and that's Rona. That's where... Uh, I posted the Caracas. Arena. Okay. Rulik. Tor. Azon. Ramses. And a Thran portal. It's a gate. Love that thing in four. It used to be like 12 bucks. I don't think it's anywhere near that these days. What do we got? Bite down. Death Bloom. Meteorite. Battle Mage, he's a couple bucks in, in that form. In that treatment. We got King Darien. Chaotic Transformation, okay. 
the gin gin's not 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 a lot we got jasmine out of car wastes i think this is is this our first land coming in uh looks really nice um and a worm speaker okay okay look at the nice foiling there so we're halfway through the first box and Ooh, guys, ooh. I'd be surprised if that box totals reached 40 bucks up there. I will be very, very surprised. Haunted Mire. Czar. These lands, though, no joke. They're like 2 250 Like, it's crazy. So I'll make some money back up in lands. Joda, do you get one texture? Noticing that there. I don't know if it's normally there. I don't I'll have to go back and look. Um, you, you get one textured mythic per box. So, unfortunately, we did not get Sheldred. We got Joda. King Darian in the more expensive form. Flesh. We got Ramses, Ramses, Liliana coming in. You Liliana used to be a $20, $25 card. I don't know what it's at now, but it's still a good card. And the Coast. Coast. I have Lily on him like my modern one of my modern decks. And it's just a solid card. Lily on a Sheldreds in my modern decks. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Again, these islands. Maria. Not worth much. Defiler. We got the Golden Wind. Little Arata. General. A lady. And the Changing Dane. Comes into the Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper might be doing pretty good these days. I don't know. I have to, to check. I haven't looked at prices on some of these singles for a little while. You guys are probably like, well, why'd you buy it? Well, because normally these things are treading up to 200 bucks a box these days. So I figure if I get them for like 165 minus the 13%, it's actually, you know, it makes it makes it a little easier to break even on these. So I think the EV is still not anywhere near 200. Wrath. We got the Elder Dragon War. Another, oh, the Redeemer. You don't see her too often. Baird, Jasmine, Squee, Resurrected, and a Mind Slinger. Okay. Come on, box. Let's let's get something. I don't think we're at a hundred dollars in value. Ooh. I just love opening Dominaria United, but she never treats me well. Oh, oh, Shane Lightning coming in for our Legends poll. Oh, boy. That's a fun one, right? That's a fun one. That's a great one right there. Not sure what it's doing price wise, but um, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's the same. The, I mean, the print, look at that. It's awesome. It's actually, like, pretty centered, too. It's, like, for Legends. Legends is always, like, really off-center. Um, I mean, it's a little bit, but it's not as bad as some of them. That is pretty awesome. So that's a pull. That's a pull, folks. Phoenix Chick. Jeez. Astor. Bearer of Blades. Ivy. We get Emperor. Erg, the Turg, Zira, and the Sleeper's Scourge. Menace, other legendary creature you have menace. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Oh, wrong pal. Tempted to look up what Chain Lightning's doing, though. Yeah, I'll just throw it up on the screen. I'll, I'll wait. I want to be surprised. There he is. It's, it's probably not that crazy, right? There, and Heroes Heirloom. Okay, we got a mountain. We got Garno. Garno. We got the Defiler of the Faith. The Valiant Veteran. Garno. Tour. Um, coast and a Herd Migration. Herd Migration's not doing as good as you think it might be doing. Always nice to see a Legends pull. Whatever that is. Heroic Charge. Wooded Real. Vigilant uh, Rona. Okay, we're gonna put Rona in that pile. And I might not put them up on the screen. If I don't put them up on the screen, it's because, like, it's still maybe under a buck. But if it's, like, 70, 80 cents, I still, I still list them. Swamp. We got an Nadal. Yamavaya. 
Unite the Coalition. Raph, Ramirez, Astor, Bearer, and uh, Maria. That was a really bad pack to finish off that box one. So, let's see. Box two. Can we beat it? Can we beat it? We need like 350 in value. 350 in value. That first box was probably barely a hundred dollars. That's not the not a good thing for us here. What do we got? Boom. Ever changing Dane. Okay. In the foil. Okay. Those box toppers. It's like. Hey, let's throw a box topper so we can tell them there's a box topper. We're just gonna put one of these. Regular old cards in Shodred's Restoration. That's a good one. A couple bucks on that. Mountain. We got Zar again. Urza assembles the Titans. Very nice. A little Wayfarer. No, Jasmine. Look at the damage on that Jasmine up there. See it? Lady, Maria, and a Rives foil. Okay. Well, we're off to a weird start. Love to see a Shodred, though. Come on. Sacred S. Oh, 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 oh. What do we got here? We got a boomerang return target permanent to owner's hand. Nice. Nice. Love the art on that, guys. Love the art. It's so good. It's so good. I'm just happy anytime we pull a Legends pull, to be honest, because um, you don't always get them in every box. See how off-center it is? Like I was telling you guys about the first one. Um, you don't always see a Legends pull. And the back is kind of centered, but the front is way off. Um, so we got a Chain Lightning and a Boomerang today, which is pretty fun. Um, that's awesome. Okay, Rada. Temporal. Defiling the Faith. We got Vohar, Tobias. We got Zero. Arn, the living legacy. He's coming in for a solid $1.73.2. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Love Dominaria. Hammerhand. Amplifier. Light. Right up. Planes. Okay. We got the Fury Rider. Rundeveld. Boardmaster. Jensen. All right. Jensen. You don't see Jensen too often, guys. Yeah. If that spell was all colors, create a 4 4 white angel token with flying. Yeah, that's a fun one. Uh, Tobias. Ever changing. Jahora. And then the Merfolk Noble Emperor Mihail the Second. Oh, yeah. So far, go the good guys. No Sheldred, and I'm getting a little bit concerned. A little concerned. No Sheldred. Sheldred is pretty much Sheldred or bust. Garno. Wind Ferns. Well, I guess that's. I think that's actually a pretty good one too. Astor in the textured, resurrected. Leaf Crown Visionary. Rata the General. Uh, Dragon Master. That's actually a couple bucks, believe it or not. Or, uh, okay, nothing. Nothing. Legends pool really makes this set fun to me. I mean, just to, you know, it might not be anything crazy, right? But, like, at least kind of gives you a little extra chase. All right, Benalia's Hope. Threats undetected. Filer of Dreams. We got Wrath, General... Rasputin, Zur, and Defiler of Instinct. Okay. Fort. Okay. Apparition. We got the Shaper, Negate, Combat, Sengir, okay. Mountain, Rulik. Yeah. Set him aside. Stronghold Arena. Okay, we got the Vigor. There. Mirrors. Start. We got Jaya coming in for a buck and Evolve Sleeper. Evolve Sleeper, nice. 
Okay, we still don't have our mythic texture, so we have a shot at Sheldred there. Um, but otherwise, Sheldred has been really elusive here today. Protect the negotiators, Berserker, I think Berserker, like something. Captain, Captain's in the etched. Ryvaz, this is the expensive version of Ryvaz. Boon, Rulik, Jasmine, the Siege Demon, the Darien, and a Boon. Two Boon, that's a, that's a Boon pack. There's so much booning. Such booning. Smash to dust. Impulse, a little containment. Captain, that's something, a little whelp. All right. Braids. Braids is always a nice card, especially pulling in the etched here. So this is a this is a nice one to see. Probably five bucks or so. So that's good. We got the evolved sleeper again. Tor Zira. All right, Herborg. He's a buck or two. And Defiler of Dreams. Hey guys, we're coming close to the end here, and we don't have a Sheldred to speak of. It's a little Phyrexian Rager. Lagmos, and Joint Exploration, Mountain, we got the Bone Rattle, okay, Evolve Sleep, we got a lot of Evolve Sleeping, Lagmos, Tobias, Zero, more Raven Men, and a Valiant Veteran, okay, we're still missing our Mythic, our Mythic Texture, and I'm still holding out hope, guys, I've got the hope being held, in my hands, there's hope right here. Inscribed tablet here. Erg, Aether Chandler, Aether Chandler. Why does that happen? Come on, guys. Captain Jasmine Ramsey's Karn. That's a dollar forty fifty four point three cents. Okay. Resurrected. Two packs left to hit a Sheldred. I don't think we're at two hundred dollars in value here, guys. Maybe, you know, the Legends cards are nice, but. These these boxes, you know, themselves we're not getting we're not getting what we need. Cult conscript. Oh, Rivez, that's a good one. He's coming in and textured. Okay. Maria. Okay. We got the lockdown. Lockdown's doing pretty good. Lockdown's pretty good if it's up there on the screen. Um Overlord and Rith. I was really hoping that would be a children. But it's not. It's a Rith. Last pack. This has our mythic textured foil in it. 100% certainty. This is our sh our chance. I think there's a one in three chance of getting a Sheldred in that mythic texture slot. Uh, Tangled Islet. Strength. Join forces. Here we go. Three, two, one. Joda. Okay, and yeah, it's the same as the last box too. You can see. So remember, you always get one mythic uh, textured per collector box so well we knew it was coming we knew it was the last one because we opened all of them and uh um you know that's the way it was so we got liliana coming in foil so we did we hit a liliana again we got two lilies mind slinger okay we got something else coming in looks like a, a one of the lands raven man and atacar waste yep coming in with a Flame Sage. So we did not hit a Sheldred today, but you can see up on the screen what that means in terms of value, right? Um, there's not $200 worth of value in two of these boxes. So if you're paying $200 or so per Dominaria Collector Booster Box, you know, you're you're going after the Legends pulls, um, you're, you're going after, uh, Shel really going after Sheldred, but you can see how hard Sheldred can be. Oh, Right? So, take care. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all later.